welcome back to another Govercraft episode. In today's episode, we are going to be working on this lovely room here. In fact, let's rewind that and walk forward. Ta-da! Looks very nice. Now, I want to decorate this room because I... Well, see, I have this cheaty room. I think I showed this to you guys. If I haven't, I'm sorry. I have my cheaty room in which I have my rail machine. Oh, I was wondering where those guys went. <laughs> well, good to know. Good to know. Uh, I have my obsidian generator, and I have my fishing machine, AFK fishing machine. And I'm when something when one point eight comes out, I'll be building a machine here. But until that time, that's going to stay empty. But you know, it's it's kind of open. Anyone can walk in and enter. And there's a spider bean about. And I think what I want to do is build a secret entrance. You know, because I mean, why why the heck not? We got this room and we got the space and it's built into the floor. Why not do kind of a, a pullback bookcase here, maybe next to a desk and have a file cabinet here. So let's get started. I think I have everything we need. And tell you what, let's go ahead and do the, let's make some more sticks. Let's do the file cabinet first. That's pretty easy. We need some more iron. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a bunch of sticks. We're going to be needing sticks all throughout this progress. And you know what? I'm going to go kill that spider, so I'm going to be right back. Because it's just going to annoy me if I try to record this. Okay, I'm back, and I got his string. So, uh, as I was saying, to build this thing, we are going to need a couple item frames. And what I mean by a couple, we are going to need exactly four. And we're we going to have enough sticks for this? No, we're going to need one more round of sticks. But we can go ahead and make these... Grab some more wood. Ah, sticks. That should actually be enough. Oops, wrong button. There we go. Right now, I have this gravel here kind of as a, a reference to where I want everything to go. So we're going to just take this down. Don't need this anymore. And build... Four blocks of iron, a little bit expensive, but when you find iron in caves, it becomes less and less expensive as time goes on. Throw down some item frames and take this iron. Two, three, four. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. And you can't, well, you can kind of rotate it. It doesn't really make a difference. Hmm. I want to add a little bit of flair to this. I meant for these signs to be used for something else, but if we were to do something like... Yep, 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 that's exactly what I want. And, uh, oh. Great, gonna need more signs. Which means we're gonna need wood, and let's just put this in my inventory for now. There we go. That should be actually the perfect amount of signs. And there we go, a little file cabinet. And you can put a little torch or whatnot, maybe a flower pot or something. And yeah, it actually looks pretty, pretty cool. Alright, so on to the next project. The next product I project is will be a desk. Now I want to build this out of spruce wood, mostly, just because it gives it that nice kind of... Uh, rich oak feel. So the design that I found is actually Zuljan. He's a relatively new hermit on the Hermitcraft server. So I will be using his design and what he does is he goes four blocks out and three blocks over and that's about the length of his office space. And that's about it in regards to solid blocks. So let's go ahead and craft up some stairs. I think my... I do like Zuljan's designs. My only beef with him, I think, is the fact that he uses a texture pack to make his builds look good. And in my opinion, that's kind of always... I feel that that's cheating. You know, I mean, if you're going to do something, do it and try and make it look as good as you can in vanilla before you result to a texture pack. And boop! That couldn't have been more perfect. I couldn't have done that accidentally. And there we have our desk, and you can kind of see the shape of it. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do? I have all these books, and we're going to need to make tons and tons of bookshelves. 
But we could probably put like a bookshelf here and here. No. You know what? Let me grab another iron block. We're going to put that here. First things first though is we're going to make ourselves a desk and a monitor. And I need some cobble. I'll grab that in a bit. There we go. That's a nice desktop background. And then a pressure plate. See, it looks like a keyboard. I'm punching away at my keyboard, but it does nothing. No! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's one of those days, guys. It's just one of those days where Sayu Lily is so derpy, you just kind of have to put up with her. Um, boop. Bookshelf. I want a bookshelf back here. Boop. There we go. That looks nice. That looks really nice. And I think I want to put like a file cabinet here or maybe here. I'm actually leaning towards that. Let me go grab some cobble real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back from my little errand and I decided to grab a stone slab for right there. Kind of look as a uh, work backflow and I got a extra potted pl pot to put in a rubber tree plant right in the corner just to, to spruce it up a little bit and make it look like an actual office space. May put like a little dumpster here when we get, I don't know, maybe a block of coal or something that looks like a, a cauldron. A cauldron looks like a, a dumpster. I'll probably put that in the corner there or there. Anyway, I got the lever because this is a very important piece. We're actually going to place it like so. There we go. And that should be in the off position naturally. And it looks like a mouse. See? Ta-da! Now I'm trying to think. I can either take my block of iron and put in something that kind of looks like a file cabinet, or I can use a book and quill to make it look like a uh, shelf, kind of a, a shelf type deal. And I think I'm going to lean more towards the latter because I already have file cabinets here. So let's go ahead and do that make ourselves another... We're going to need to make a couple item frames, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and make one more. Sorry guys, I'm completely derpy today. It's one of, one of those days where I just kind of just wanted to get on and build something, but wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to build, so I just I found something. And I did it! <laughs> That's the best I can put it. Oh! Shoot. Let's try that again. And a bit, a bit, a bit. There we go. Okay, and we're going to put an item frame here. Take our book and quill later. Um, well, let's go ahead and prettify this up a little bit. We're going to use the same design and grab some gold. Make golden pressure plates. And there we go. And we got little sleek handles. I think I'm going to keep it separate because these guys are much more beefier than the the ones that you'd see in an office. And it's a shame you can only uh you can't flip it around, you know. Not not really, not truly. But that looks good. That gives it a little piece of elegance, you know. Let's go ahead and throw in our our book of quill while I'm rambling. See, and as you're walking into, that just feels like a warm study. Like you're walking in, I recess the lighting to give it a, a kind of a dark feel, but even back here, let's check the lighting. It's block light 8, so when I put a cauldron here, it might get a little dark, so I'll figure out the lighting there. But that's for another time. Let's, um... Oh yeah! For those of you who have ever worked in an office environment, there are plants everywhere. And I mean everywhere. Whether they're fake plants or live plants, I figure this is a home office, so the daughter or the little child likes to, oops, I forget this one hit, hit punch, likes to bring in uh, flowers for the, the working mom or dad, and they like that, so they put that right on the desk. And I, I thought that's a little nice touch. Just, and with all the gold and whatnot, that really brings it in. Last but not least, we are going to need a chair. We're going to make this out of spruce again. Doop -doo -doo -doo, there we go. And we want it right in front of the computer. There we go. A very... Oops. Actually, that's something we can do. We could probably insert a design here. Uh, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling that today. There we go. And there we go. 
and look at that. Look at that. That's just a lovely little office. As soon as you walk in, you're just greeted with all these warm and gold tones. I like that. I like that a lot. Next, we've got to work on the redstone for this, and this is going to be the hard part. Uh, we want these pistons to be extended at all times until I flick the switch, in which case they pull back. So we'll be using an inverter. And I forgot to grab redstone. My goodness, guys, I'm really derpy. So let me go ahead and do that and gather everything we need, and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so we are out back here, and we are going to dig down just a little bit, and we're going to loop it around the back. So there is our thing. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we are going to, let's see, if I were to put redstone right here, that would be way too far away for it to interact. That is correct. So what we need to do is go down and under. Oh, no, I'm worried about the... That should be fine. We'll test it out. Let's see. How can I get away with this? Hmm. Very interesting indeed. Oh, uh, yeah, the Optimus is on. Let me uh, reply to him. So, yeah, let me see what I can do here. That's not going to work, but you know what will work is we don't really need all that because our inverter can we just be placed here. Oh. Ah, that's what's going on. This is a, a, uh, a Transparent block, yes, 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 and as we all know, we can't place things on top of transparent blocks. Meaning I may need to rethink this. Hmm. Say, so Lily makes village noises. Like, you haven't heard that one. Um, we could. No, if we do that, that'd be way too obvious. Tell you what, let me take a look at this from the front. It looks like a gaping hole. <laughs> um, hmm. Let me try filling it in with a solid block first. Well, that doesn't look too bad. I can add one of those drawer things, and it'll look fine. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to mine this out real quick. So I can place this down. There we go. And then we'll enderpearl ourselves back there. Let's try this again. I'm in dirt. Okay, there we go. A little scary there, but we got out. Okay. So, now that that's a full block, we can kind of essentially make an inverter here. Perfect. Put oak wood on top of that. Oh, there goes an extra lever. There we go, and all we have to do is essentially lace this around towards the back. Let's go ahead and find where that distance is. Am I going to get it first time lucky? I am! Woohoo! So, let's stick around here. There's the bookcase. There we go. This is going to be some very sloppy redstone, but it will be effective and we're going to need a block. There we go, and a little bit of redstone dust on top. And that should have activated both of them. I didn't hear both of them go off, so let's go ahead and jump inside. Take the secret entrance down. Whee! Alright, I see one of them extended, but not the second one. So we're going to get... A little crafty, I think. So let me think about this, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, a little bit of sloppy redstone, but if I had it basically come out and then in, you can see both the pistons are activated, which is great, which means I can just throw in the last minute things, and I should be good to go. So let me go ahead and tidy this area up and meet you guys back inside. 
And there we go. I got the redstone all complete. I have pretty much all complete except for that. And look at that. What a cozy little study. In fact, let's go ahead and pull everything of this out so I can destroy it and clear up the room of clutter. I'll probably put a painting of some description back there. Oh, and it's missing something that would give it away. But there you go! What a cute little office. I put that little trap door up there just to give it a little bit of texture and a little bit of warmth and feel. And you would never guess that this little mouse would hold a secret trap door. And there we go. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I would click to my skin, but as you guys can see, I'm Steve. There's been some issues with the skin server, but that is okay. If you like, then remember to press that like button, and if you really did enjoy, then make sure to subscribe. Other than that, guys, stay tuned for more caving with Scotty Garbitas. I'll clip it onto the end here, so it'll be a bit of a long episode. Oh, you know what? I am forgetting something. Before you guys go, there's one very important feature I nearly left out. And there you go. Look at that. That just fills the room, makes it nice and warm and cozy. And actually quite quite nice. I will I think I will put a cauldron in here as sort of a, a waste basket. Anyway guys, signing out for the second time and stay tuned for Caving with Scotty. See you guys. Welcome back guys. I'm with Scotty Garbitas. We're in and a I'm ravine. Lily. Oh, I'm sorry. It's I okay. talked over you. No, that's <laughs> cool. And let's get out of F5 mode before something sneaks up on us. Yeah, I heard a shrink. skeleton over here. I still hear a skeleton over here. Could be up. So let us dig our way up. Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna chill. Okay. Uh, try and think of... Cave up here above us? Yeah. Make out. <laughs> oh, there's a bat. Oh, I see a zombie in magic leather way down. Oh. oh he went right in front of me right the last second. <laughs> oh, I undershot that zombie. Who just despawned. Oh, I'm hearing that skeleton. Where the heck is he? Uh huh. He's got to be up there near you. Yeah, I'm looking. I think he's over oh, our head the... still. Oh, there's the... Yeah, there... Ah! Whoa! Oh, God Careful, back up. I got him. Oh! Suicidal zombie! Whoa! Dude just fell! Who fell? Oh, uh, oh skeleton. Like skeleton. Yeah, it looked like a skeleton just fell right here next to me. Oh, I found cave. Am I on drugs? Huh? I swore I saw a skeleton fall like right here, but there's no place it could have fallen from. Weird. Well, I found a cave. Oh, there's a skeleton. Watch it, Scotty. Yep, watch it. Whoa! Oh! I'm okay. You okay? Yeah, a zombie came up behind me. <laughs> <laughs> we All both <right>. got... <laughs> Where the heck did that zombie get? How did he get here? Is there a dark spot behind you? From... Yeah, but from where did he get down on this ledge? And, Maybe he parkoured. Did you shoot at me? No. Is this arrow here? No. What are you talking about? This arrow in this dirt block. That's not me, man. I didn't... Okay. I don't... Oh, it just despawned. I don't know what's going on. We're in the creepy cave of ghostliness. Things happen. Yeah, what the heck? Oh, I'm hearing a little kid zombie. Oh, they're climbing up your stairs! That's how he got behind me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're talking about that tracking ability. Alright, well I'm gonna do that. Okay. How does that sound? Pretty good. Alright. I was thinking, like, if you took one side... Oh, I am... What the heck? I'm, like, stuck in a block or something. What? Is there a block, like, right here in front of me? Uh, yeah, there is. Hold on one sec. There you go. All right. There was a block leg of some sort. I was getting invisible blocks. Uh-oh. Oh, there is a cave right here. Yep. Right behind you. All right. Boom. Scotty and Lily on a cave and adventure. Gonna Either. try to not die when we're in the cave. 
Need to think of a creative theme song. Ah, creeper! Hello, oh, creeper. Oh, God, where are you? I'm okay. I'm over here. I found something. <laughs> oh, what'd you find? <laughs> I found a cave. <laughs> I have found a lot of cobble on this adventure. Yep. Oh, I was right. I was like right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you didn't get knocked off then. Yeah. I was just like, man, it sounds like you're right behind me, and I started looking around in the cave. Uh, can I? There we go. That's good. And you know, this is one of those ravines that's like devoid of anything of value. <laughs> and there's some iron in here, but yeah, Are we... I guess we're not low enough for diamonds then. That's all right. Oh, here in a zombie He's right over there. Around. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, he took a nap. <laughs> there All we right. go. Oh, this needs to be mined right now. Okay, I got your back. All right. You can keep going up around and lightning and adventuring. I'm just, I'm gonna grab this because it was too huge iron veins and a coal vein like right next to each other yeah I kind of like this shelf that we've created here this is nice we should open up a restaurant <laughs> uh, the shelf or something <laughs> yeah I don't know I just I like this little like cliff here and the way it like the way it looks down over oh yeah I found a cave, it looks like. Yeah. yeah, there's one over here, too, that you found. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, I, no, I found it. I just, I don't know. There's some zombies in it. You want to split off and go one, you take one cave, I take the other? Sounds good. All right. This is the part where you guys got to watch both our videos at the same time and listen to the madness. Mine's got iron in it. Mine's been pikerized. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> What you get? Why am I not seeing a zombie right here, though? Because it sounded like he was right behind here. I don't know. It's not very well lit up, though, is it? Well, no. I mean, we had, but it sounded like there was a zombie like right here. Oh, there's a skeleton. What? Oh, down there. Yeah, he's dead. All right. I'm gonna light this up just a little bit. Light this up just a little bit. Ooh! <laughs> Let's do this. There we go. And boom. As cave gets getting bigger and bigger, I'm going to stop and wait for you. All right. Um, where are you at? All right. Uh, keep heading no, down. I see your name. Okay, I yeah. see your name. There's some stuff over here we probably ought to check out, too, I'm thinking. Yeah, there's... You know what? Maybe maybe this maybe we get down there. I'm gonna put a torch here, and we'll be able to tell if we're looking up at it when we get down there. Okay. But that little shoot was kind of giving me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, good lord! How did you even see anything in there? Oh, magic eyes. Yeah, you and Baskin, everybody else, you guys can always see this stuff. I don't see it. Maybe I need a new monitor or something. <laughs> one of those magic one. Uh, mushrooms. Yeah. Okay. I that... thought those were spider eyes for a minute. Oh. Yeah. So did I. I didn't hurt. I didn't hurt him. No, I know creeper. Creeper. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Whatever. Hearing zombie feet. Oh, and uh, a spider. skeleton. A spider, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. This guy. Hello, bud. Come on. Murder him. He's uh, confused. Is he after me? Yes, he is. Ooh, oh, there's two of them. News. Good news. I What's already up? have an entire stack. I, no. Yes, I do. I have an entire stack of iron already. Oh, good. Hello, spider. I need your string. Thank you. Thank you for your generous donation to the cellularly taking over the world. Let us this Wait one. a second. <laughs> Wait, you're leaving all this iron behind. Now I know why I've got all the iron. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been more focused on the the danger immediately present around us, so sometimes I forget to. What do you mean? I'm right behind you. 
No, we, we split for just a second. Creeper. It would help if I tried to shoot him with a bow instead of... Oh, I just... Wow, I killed something in the darkness I didn't even see. <laughs> hey, there's more mushrooms of a different variety. Oh, and there's a cave right above our head. Let me... Awesome. Ouch. Did I hit you? Yes. You gotta back off, woman. It's man's work. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. All right. Uh, I can't go up here without you. Okay. <laughs> this is bad work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Careful. There's a hole right above our heads as we come out here, and then it cuts like two or three different ways. Okay. Right. Um, there's a skeleton. No. I heard a skeleton. So you take that way. I'll take. Oh, I see him. I get the skeleton. Was he back where take we that. came from? Yeah. That's weird. Okay, you take that way, I'll take the other one, and then we'll meet up back here for the last bit. Oh, it's a... Never mind. Hello! Yeah, <laughs> mine was, like, really short, too. Oh, there's a creeper. Let's see if she makes it. Uh? Sounds like she's making it. I see his toes. I shed his toe! <laughs> That's how you catch a leprechaun. Yep. Grab by their toe. My mother told me to choose the best one, and you are it. All right, I don't have any more wood to make torches. Do you have any wood on you? I have 15 wood. Let me split that with you. As much as I can, anyway. There you go. I'm going to make that into planks right away, and into some sticks. And it's a dead end. Awesome. I hear lava like crazy, though, in between you and me. So I bet if we were to dig out right behind you, I would find lava. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Let's dig out right behind you. <laughs> uh -huh. Hold Boom. on, where'd it go? I'm thinking it's over here. I don't know why we're looking for lava. I, I, yeah, <laughs> I guess been... if we're convinced there's diamonds ah. by it. There. You found it? Oh no, I found a a cave that we were in. Did you find that big pool of lava that we already had? No. Alright. I gotta make some That's uh, bubbling coal something blocks. fierce. I guess it has to be right above us. Oh. Oh Boom. Alright. And torch. I think it's off to my right here still. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just hearing it all around. It's weird. Oh, I see it dripping. Okay. And let's still go there. up and around. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I got a water bucket on my bar. Alright. Oh, I found more coal while I was at it. Oh, careful. Found it. Right in here. Yep. Is this, this isn't the same one, but it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. You see any diamonds around it? Um, doesn't look like it. I'm just going to dig a path all the way around it. Well, let's see, we are at... Why we are way too high up for diamonds. I've got another one of those ghost blocks here. Okay, I'm coming. There we go. Oh, I found a way to get it to come back. What did I you? I put a block. I put a block down, like in the same spot, and it made it like reappear and eject the block that I'd put down. Oh, okay. Well, good. Yeah, that is good. That is awesome. I was afraid I was gonna have to uh, like log out of the game. Let me make some coal blocks. Cool beans, cool beans. Wonder what's in that hole up over the middle. Nothing? Alright. Yeah, nothing in there. You have an axe. There we go. And... yep. 
Uh, do we need all this cobble? Nah, you can throw it in the fire. There we go. I'll just keep a few stacks just in case. Not like we have a cobble generator at spawn. <laughs> right. I find that boring though. I actually prefer to just keep my cobble from adventures like this. Yeah, that's that's true. It can be really some sometimes my time to play is so limited that if I like I can't do like natural gathering then I don't I don't wanna. I wanna. Well, Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Wait. It's up in there. Alright, it's just nothingness, I guess. Okay. I thought there was like a cave up there or something. So, we're going back down? Yep, I guess so. Alright. You know what? I think I'm going to take a break from recording for a little bit. Because I feel like... Oh, nope, I'm lying. I'm lying. If you're lying, you're crying. Oh, there's a skeleton. Oh. Look out! Oh, God. I didn't want to shoot you. That's fine. Oh, dang. You almost got me. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. All right. Oh, there's gold. And mushrooms. And spiders. Alright. Yep. We're just going to have to come back and grab this stuff off camera, I have a feeling. Okay. I got to coal blocks to save on room. Oh! Diamonds? Uh, well, no, but something a little bit more, much more scarier. Much more scarier. You see? Is see what I'm looking at? Fine. Huh? Yeah. Alright. There's you know a creeper means... right under our foot. That means it's probably the end of the episode. Yeah. I would agree. And... And uh, as soon as you kill this little booger, we'll get up here for real quick. Okay. I'm just going to get this. I'm Sally. Are you sure? Yes. All right. I'm not <laughs> sure if I'm Scotty or not. But we'll see you guys next time for sure for more GopherCraft vanilla SMP server action. With craziness abounds. So, guys, see you next time. Ba -ba 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 -ba.